how's it going everyone today i'm gonna be using an av mel metal as you probably know national decks banned terra last week and unbanned a bunch of pokemon including mel metal and i think this pokemon is the one people are most excited about because look at this thing starts 135 hp 143 defense makes it indestructible on the physical defensive side and then it has a massive 143 attack start like it just hits so hard and then you add an AV on that mediocre 65 speed def and it becomes able to take so many hits on the special side as well. I mean this Pokemon is a monster. That's why we're going to be running this here today with another Pokemon that actually got unbanned recently and that is Terra Pagas. This Pokemon is probably the one legendary out of Generation 9 that was completely forgotten. I mean, this came out, it just got banned in pretty much every tier aside from Ubers and stuff. Nobody used it. I certainly didn't use it a lot. <laughs> I mean, its whole stick was that Terra Stellar thing which is completely useless. But <laughs> it was his, his thing and it can't use it anymore. So that's quite sad. But hey, we're still using this Pokemon with the choice packs and Terra Star Storm. Quite hard to say that name, but it is an incredible normal type move with 120 base power. Would be interesting to see how powerful this thing is with a base 105 special attack. Yeah, we're running AV Mel with Thunder Punch, Ice Punch. We're running Specs, Terror Packers with Ice Beam, Flamethrower. We're really nutting that coverage. Shoutouts to Moisture99 for building this team. It is a quite interesting balanced team with ICMZ, Great Tusk, um, Alu Momola, and Moltres score as our defensive and then we have a boots drag apart the you know usual stick so i'm quite excited to use it let's get into it and while we find a game let's talk about today's question of the day which would be related to generation 8 because mel metal belongs to generation 8 i want to know what is your favorite pokemon out of generation 8 mine certainly is toxicity I just love how that Pokemon looks. I think it's, it is one of the coolest designs. I wish it was good and competitive Pokemon, but hey, it does have its niche, uh, especially with like Boom Burst and stuff. I did make a video with it in Gen 9 OE using Thought Spray, Boom Burst and the screen. So definitely check that out. But yeah, my favorite generation eight Pokemon is Toxicity. Let me know yours. And now let's focus on the game. My opponent has an offensive team with Porygon Z. Surprising that they are not using any of the Pokemon that were recently unbanned. But we'll definitely not underestimate them for that. I'm gonna be leading with something I think they could lead with, and that is Melme that is Tapu Koko. I think they can lead with Tapu Koko. I definitely have switches for like Lando and stuff into Moltres. I have Alo Momola for this. Or Shifu, so I'm gonna be leading Melmetal because if I can catch Tapu Koko, that would have been really nice. But I guess they won't allow me that because they just let with Scizor. It's gonna be a Mega Scizor, right? Hmm. I guess we'll go Moltres. I mean, it's completely free. They have to U turn or just switch out to avoid Bond. Okay, they completely go Heat Run, but little do they know we are running. Scorching sands on this thing because we're definitely not switching AV Mel on a heat ram. So yeah, we're gonna be dropping this scorching sands It would be nice if I get a burn on something. Oh We do get a burn on Porygon Z and I can easily just go into AV Mel metal because I don't think this thing can do anything to AV Mel I think uh, like if you don't have super effective moves you barely do anything to this thing No, sure unless you Z move here if you Z move then you probably got me but yeah, no shot you're doing anything. I'm just gonna double iron bash here. Nah, nah, HP fire. Nope, that's not gonna do enough. I don't know if it was HP fire. It could be HP fighting as well. But yeah, that's definitely not doing enough. And hmm, on this thing, I think I'll be going Alomomola because it is able to flip turn out easily. The U turn, okay. It's gonna be Coco. All right, all right. Hmm, that is definitely annoying because Melmetal would die now. Still, I think I'll go Tusk. I don't think HPI skills Tusk like that. I'll take a D-Gleam, but we'll we'll find out if they will D-Gleam or not by going into... into our Melmetal here. Yeah, this Coco is definitely going to be annoying. Oh, they HPI is okay. They definitely did a D-Gleam, which helps. Uh, let's just double iron bash here. Thunderbolt is gonna knock me out unfortunately, but this would give me a free Terra Pagus and 
it would give me a free earth power on a potential heat run and a potential stay in with by the coco this coco is a problem i feel like i should have kept heat run oh they go into cesar well i can go more press they probably would u-turn never mind they didn't u-turn uh i'm gonna drop a toxic on the coco because this thing is incredibly annoying and I guess we'll just go Tusk. Seems like they don't have D-Gleam. So, okay, yeah, perfect. It seems like they don't have D-Gleam. I'll just Rapid Spin here. Nando comes out. I'm gonna ICMZ this thing because I don't see any other Pokemon I will be using ICMZ on. So we'll just use it on this thing. Get rid of this Nando. No rocks on our side, which would be really nice. And I can easily just go Alo on this thing. I don't need to worry about it. Surging Strike doesn't matter. Let's just flip them out for free. They're gonna stay in and Surgic Strike again. That's not banded. Definitely not. Probably Scarf or something. I'll just Dragapult here. And I'll just U-turn out as they go Scizor. So we get a free Moltres. A free, free Moltres here. And we'll be clicking Scorching Sands. It chips that Coco down. It chips Heatran down. Yeah, we'll just Scorching Sands again. Scizor comes out. I don't know why they're risking it, but I'll just Scorching Sands again. Wow, they were they are actually risking a burn on everything. <laughs> it has a 30% chance to burn. Ah, no Prox Light is definitely not doing anything to Alo and they four feet. So game one definitely put in some work with that Mel Metal. Terra Pagas didn't really do anything, but hey, ICMZ I no, didn't want to replay, but ICMZ Tusk. Oof. Uh, grabbing that KO on Lander was definitely helpful. Okay. A Zygarde, you barely see that Pokemon actually, especially the 10% version. I don't know if uh, the 50% is allowed or not in NetDAX, I have no idea. I, I think I can check it like this, Zygarde. Okay, it's tagged Uber. I guess Z-moves uh, are, are really like hot. Maybe it makes it overpowered i don't know i mean it was allowed in gen 7 as far as i can remember i guess it recently got banned in gen 7 right i think it was banned in gen 7 now anyways that's besides the point here what we're gonna do is we will be leading with hmm i think melmetal's fine I mean, melmetal just looks really good especially with this th thunder punch that is gonna drop right now I'm clicking Thunder Punch because I want to cover for Alo and like maybe a Scizor too. The U-turn. Most likely go Alo I feel like. I don't see any other. I guess they can go Zygarde but hey I could also click Ice Punch. That's why. And that's a Rocky Helmet max defense max HP Alo because that Thunder Punch did nothing. That has to be max HP max defense. Yeah that Thunder Punch absolutely did nothing and they're gonna flip turn out now yeah um, nothing i can do to stop it nothing i can do to stop it unfortunately i guess i'll just thunder punch again keep it on the low like the low health keep it on low health yeah keep all the low zygarde comes out we oh wait doesn't this learn thousand arrows ah i definitely didn't do anything though i can roost uh, wait, what? Oh, really? It's not super effective if you're a flying type. And then it's super effective. I thought that was super effective damage, so I just stayed in. I'm like, hey, that's that's only doing 37. But I had no idea it worked like that, actually. I seriously did not know it worked like that. Okay, so we're gonna get rocks up here. You probably know that I will be clicking... Ice, ice spinner so they would probably just go alo yeah alo does come out i'm gonna go dragapult on that thing this zygarde is actually really annoying now that i think about it i'm gonna drop a will o wisp or i'm not gonna drop a will o wisp i think i lose this game i definitely didn't like play it well against the zygarde now they have a chance see we can U-turn. 
we can go mm, metal metal I guess they get rocks up we can click earthquake on the alo to chip it down a little bit earthquake again they would just flip them out yeah going to zygarde I guess I wonder if thousand arrow kills me definitely does I guess I'll have to go alo Yeah, that doesn't do enough. We'll just flip them out here. We get Dragapult in. X boots. And we just U turn out here. Okay, we're, we're, we're gaining momentum back, which is really nice. Uh, I'm gonna go Great Tusk. I'm gonna click Headlong Rush on the Alo. Okay, they can give me Chansey. That's really good. It definitely opens up Terra Pegasus. Tornadoes, Tornadoes, I guess I'll have to go Melmetal here and hope that they don't have Heat Wave, which would be really bad. We'll just Thunder Punch here. Ah, they do. No! That sucks. <laughs> that actually sucks. That is really bad. I'll click Dragon Darts to chip this down, but they will just knock me out. Or they can U-turn, okay. Interesting U-turn. Scizor. I'll try to Wisp. They just Bullet Punch. We go Terrapagus. And we click Flamethrower. They don't know it learns Flamethrower, so <laughs> that's really good. We cast the Scizor. I don't know if I can win this anymore though, because mm. I don't kill the Zygarde. A dragon type move is definitely coming. I'm locked in. I go Alo. Okay, they Z moved. That's something. I'll go Tusk here. I would wrap it. Ah, they stayed in. Ugh, that's not cool. Draco Meteor. I didn't think they would stay in. Now we spam this move and hope that something happens. Raging Bolt goes down. This definitely dies. I don't think I get knocked out. Oh, they have superpower. Okay. Yeah, I honestly have no idea of what move pool Zygarde has and I also didn't know how Thousand Arrow worked. I only knew that it hits flying types, but I didn't know that it wasn't super effective on Pokemon that are like fire type with flying type because I didn't know flying neutralizes the super effectiveness. That's very inter that's very interesting how it works, honestly. That game didn't go as we planned, but it's whatever. We're just gonna move on. And you know what? I think I'm gonna lead hmm, a Tita lead is is actually something that could happen. Actually I think I'm leading Arlo. It's the best lead I have. Even against this, let's just flip down. They hurricane expecting like Tusk or something. I can just go Metal Metal. And uh, I can just click Ice Punch. It's absolutely free. Yeah, I mean, that hurricane wasn't going to do anything to Alo, and I just get the flip down regardless. I did get paralyzed, which is unfortunate. But it happens, you know, you click a move, a physical move on Zapdos and hope to not get realized that barely happens, barely happens. If it does, you're lucky. By the way, guys, if you enjoy these laddering videos, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. It is completely free and you won't miss out on the future uploads. Anyways, Scizor came out. Uh, I have a mortress that I can go into. Will they risk a flame body burn? They did and they didn't get burned. Wow. You are lucky, sir. <laughs> like clicking clicking that move. I'm gonna poison this. I don't care. Oh yeah, your Draco Meteor misses. I can just go Mel Metal. That's a specs dragapult as far as I can tell. And we will just be clicking Ice Punch. It really fishes for that uh, freeze chance, you know. Moldress once again, they have to either roost or risk a burn. 
Oh, they're gonna double. Okay, I'll just go back to Mel Metal. They, I don't get why they keep clicking Hurricane, but I would just Ice Punch regardless. And Mel Metal is definitely getting chipped. I have to do something for about the Zap Dose. Moltres again. Okay, finally. Finally. Now I'm gonna drop a Toxic on the Zapdos or the Titar. Pursuit doesn't matter, we'll just go into Tusk here. I should actually check if the Zapdos is offensive or not. That definitely doesn't matter. Melmetal took takes 20 from Volt Switch. 20 from Volt Switch. Offensive. Okay. Okay, that actually is um, kind of a weird role. So, okay, yeah, that's not offensive. That's a defensive. That means I can ice, ice spinner it. I'll just stealth rock here. Zapdos comes in. ICMZ, baby. Get rid of this Zapdos. That's why we have it. That's why we have it. Should most likely knock it out. Yep, there we go. There we go. Zapdos gone. That's what I'm talking about. Now I can freely go into Moltres without a care in the world. Okay, I mean I still have a Mel Metal that I can go into. If you click a Ghost type move, I will get a free Tarot Pagus. Yep, we're gonna go into Pagus. Keep this as a sack. Only thing I'm worried about is that Clot Sire, because I feel like Tarot Pagus wouldn't do anything to that thing. That doesn't hit me. And hmm. I guess I'll just click Earth Power as a mid ground and see the amount of damage this does. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Let's try to fish for some Spit Death Drops. Because if they click Toxic, they lose. There is the Spit Death Drop, and I think I'd knock it out now. Nope, nope. They poison it. But hey, we keep Cloud Sire low. That, that's like completely fine. We can trade uh, Toxic for Cloud Sire. That's completely fine. This Clotsar is a problem. Zamazenta. I have an... I don't wanna go Moltres and catch a Stoner, so I'll just go Alo. That's Substitute. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I do have an Infiltrator Dragapult. I guess I'll just flip turn out. It's not like they can do anything to Dragapult anyways. Yeah, and we just will have a spear. Terror doesn't exist. <laughs> Terror doesn't exist, so this cannot be saved. Yep, we hit that Zamazenta. Crunch, I'll just U-turn because I don't want to get Pursuit trapped by a Titar. Because now they really don't do anything to Alo or Moltres. We'll just go back to Alo, get some wishes up, try to wish Melmetal. Yeah, I'm gonna get a wish up and I have a slow U-turn, slowest actually because of the the paralysis. Yeah, I'm just gonna flip them out here. Hopefully not stay paralyzed so I can bring Mel Metal back. That's not gonna do enough. Yep, we heal. We're gonna bring Mel Metal back to max health. Yep. Okay, not max health. I forgot Mel Metal's HP is incredible. <laughs> and they just four feet. They did not want Melmetal to come back to max health, you know. All right, Megalopony. <laughs> Melmetal sure has a, has a looks really good in this game, but they do have a good charm. So, I mean, we have Alo that can like uh, wish pass, so that's really good, actually. How much does Terrapagus do? I kind of want to lead with Terrapagus. I don't know how good of an idea that is though. I do have a spinner. You know, I think I can lead Alo. Alo is like the safest lead ever, honestly. They ceaseless, they're not gonna be knocking me off, which is really good. I'll just wish. Protect. We get back to max health and then we flip turn. And now we flip turn. They don't have a ghost type either, so I'll really just 
be getting this Duskin and just be getting that spin off. Yeah, I'll just get the spin off. They can go Carby Knight, it wouldn't matter. I have a Moltres that I can go into. Can I get a burn, please? Yes, thank you. Flame Body Burn finally putting in the work. And against this, I want to go Alo as a mid ground, but it would just do too much. So I'll go Great Tusk. They look Salt Cure, good. I can get Rocks up. Carby Knight comes out. Hmm. This Garg is actually a problem. I have to catch the Garg with either Terra Pagus or Mel Metal. I guess go I I guess I'll go Mel Metal. The Defog, okay. I'll just Ice Punch here. Ha! Huh. Really? I didn't think you would do that. U turn. Okay, they're gonna keep the motor slow, which is really good. I'll wish. And then I'll go Great Tusk. Wish it back up. Make an iron defense. Actually, <laughs> that's a problem. Dang it. Iron defense, really? I'll force them to, first of all, I'll force them to uh, recover, I guess. And then I would go Terra Pagus. And spam Earth Power, because it should do shot this. Yeah. Oh, come on. I didn't get the roll. At least, okay. They they let me have it. That's that's the best part. Like, they just let me. They just let me keep this thing low. That works. That works. Yeah, I'll trade Terra Packers for Garganackle. That's fine. <laughs> that thing is was actually a really big threat. I have a Moltres for this thing. Uh, this thing is not doing anything to Moltres. Hmm. Should I scout for Thunderbolt? I feel like they do run Thunderbolt. I guess I'll scout for Thunderbolt. Technically they should... Oh. Well that works. I can double iron bash now. That killed me. My god. That actually knocked me out. Well I do have a Alo. That we would just click Toxic on. That's fine. I can just wish stall you at this point. Ah, doesn't matter. I'll just flip turn. Flip turn definitely doesn't knock you out here. And we'll get some health or health back on the Moltres. Because Moltres at this point just wins us the game. Look at their Pokemon. And I can just go back to Alo. They die to poison. They can click knock. I don't want Moltres to get knocked. They go lop. I can go back to Moltres. Fish for some burns. Didn't get it turn 1. Let's click Toxic on the Garchomp. I don't want any stone shenanigans, so I'll just go Tusk here. Okay, that did way too much. Two critical hits. Two fucking critical hits. Are you serious? Ah, that sucks. Now, four hits knocked me out. Unfortunately, Alo. I guess I'll go Alo. That's fine. Let's just click Wish and click Protect. I don't think this kills me. Yeah, let's just Wish again. This doesn't kill me. Holy crap, they crit me twice. What the hell? <laughs> what? That's that's insane, bro. Two crits is insane. Now we protect again. Carby Knight comes out for some reason. I'll just wish up. I don't know <laughs> why you did that. Like, you just protect again. We're gonna U turn. We're gonna flip turn. And yeah, this game is done. I mean, this game is really, really just done. I can go Moltres and I can go back to Alo on potential water move. Yeah, that's dead. Apni once again comes out. We'll just protect on the fake out. 
they lowered my defense actually and yeah the game's done so the motors allo core really putting in the work definitely an interesting core okay a mel metal megalopony tinglu tinglu is gonna be hard to deal with i think i'm leading bragapult you burn something turn one is just nice actually i definitely don't like lele lead i feel like i think i'm leading mel metal because if i'm gonna take damage from lele i might as well revenge it never mind they'll lead with this okay okay i can go moldress earthquake superpower one of the two oh thunder wave that is something i did not expect toxic thunder wave protect wow yeah toxic the tinglu and i stayed paralyzed that's not great but i don't think the like the this matters that much i really don't think this matters that much i would just go allo here and then flip wish and flip turn out wish tornadoes okay let's poison this it helps it helps they don't have a ghost type so i'll be able to spin as well oh well flip turn the u-turn i flip turn what are they gonna go into if it's smell metal i'll just spin if it's sting blue i'll just spin uh if uh, it's these two we'll see gonna be yellow all right okay gonna be allo huh i definitely don't want this thing to get toxic there are pegas there are star storm looks really good feel like i'm gonna go into it yeah i think this like just damages this allo like a oh look at that damage that's an insane amount of damage and I can just double to Tusk on a potential Mel Metal here because they shouldn't stay in. Exactly. And now I can get Spin. They can protect. It doesn't matter. It's not like you have anything that knocks me out right now. Yeah, we just Spin. Get rid of these. Double Iron Bash. Definitely doesn't do enough. Stealth Rock. Because it helps. Yep. And now we head long. And they're gonna take the damage on Mel, which is really good. Uh, I love that actually. I love that. That's great. Hmm, now the question is what I'm gonna go into. This surely isn't faster than my Mel Metal. It shouldn't be at least. I think I'll just Earthquake here. Yeah, I'll just Earthquake here. I'm faster than a low minus speed allo, so I can just thunder punch if it comes out. It's really low anyways. I'm gonna go allo. I don't want this thing to get knocked. Yep, they knock. We'll just flip turn. They defog as expected. Now we can go U and we can actually just U turn out. Okay, they stayed in. Maybe to knock. I'm not sure why would you stay in on Hex, but yeah, this is a flip turn. That's a free flip turn. They're heavy duty boots. No defog, which really helps. Okay, we're gonna be bringing... Actually, I think I'm bringing Mel Metal because Thunder Punch just knocks this thing out here. At least that's what I think. Okay, Tornadoes. Yeah, we'll claim that. We'll definitely claim that i have still have mortars for the lap allo isn't really doing anything tinglu is poison mel metal is low uh i can go hmm that is a problem i think if they want to get spikes up i think i'll just ice punch oh that's ah low roll hmm i think they would attack 
I don't I don't want to take chip on Mel for just for Lele because Lele could clean the game yeah exactly we'll just wish here I guess they do get the spike up regardless oh they didn't and whirlwinded me that's cool I can earth power so that uh, Mel metal doesn't come in it also covers Arlo but Arlo would definitely survive the move I have a Moltres for this never worried about this thing you're really risking that aren't you ah roost please thank you I'm gonna toxic this Arlo Oh, what they go into? I mean, if they don't go Mel, then this thing gets poisoned, which is really nice. Yeah, this definitely helps. I can go Mel here. Mel Metal comes in. They can't mind. Okay, they're Z. They're definitely Z. Yeah, we're gonna go Dragapult on the Phytanium Z that's coming out. Yep. Yuppers. Easily, easily claimed. And this side, this hex does knock them out. Yup, yup, yup. We have avoided the biggest threat that that this team had, Tapu Lele, and it's gonna be a clean game from this point on. Alo comes out. This thing is toxic, huh? I guess I'm going Mel. I don't need Mel. If I can use this to chip stuff, that's just better. Yeah, let's just Thunder Punch. Because like Mel Metal and Lop can't really do anything to Moltres on their own. They would eventually just get burned. And this takes a Thunder Punch. It's gonna wish up and all that. I'll just click Thunder Punch. If they want a flip turn, then I'll keep the Arlo low. Oh. You're really f trying to get paralyzed by the Thunder Punch, aren't you? I mean, I think that's kind of pointless. It's whatever. They stay in this time. They flip turn. Okay, Arlo is gonna be really low. Well, Metal comes out. I'll just Earthquake. I think I two-shot this and they don't two-shot me. Yeah, Double Iron Bash. We'll just Earthquake again. Actually, uh, hmm. Protect Earthquake. Yeah, I think it's fine. They protect, but it doesn't help them anyways. Like, I, I'm faster. I just Earthquake. A Thunder Wave. Now I can go Moltres. I'll keep this as a sack on Lopni. Yeah, that doesn't help. I'll just Roost here for free. Not for free, because I just keep staying paralyzed. I'm going to Roost. I have to Roost. Ah, this sucks. Toxic Diallo, Melmetal. I mean, that's fine because Melmetal can't do anything to Moltres, but that Paro really sucked. Because I have to keep Moltres healthy for the lap. But it's fine because they, they are really just trying to get burned at some point. They flinched me. Why, why does Double Iron Bash have a flinch chance? Can someone explain that to me? Finally, finally, after like five fucking hits. You only have three double iron bashes left. Can I please just can I just please clean up this game at this point? Please give me a roost. Please give me a roost. Dragapult is also faster than Lop, which helps. I can just burn it and then hack uh, Dragon Darts it. Please give me a roost. Come on, bro. Come on. Finally, finally, dang it, after a million turns, come on, come on, yeah, like, just go into that, I'll, let me poison you, let me please poison you, thank you, and I can go Arlo to heal it,
they would just flip turn what would they go into because Lopni and Melmetal are pretty much at max health like they don't really need the wish support that's fine I can just heal this and go Moltres and fish for a flame body burn which seems like it would never happen and that frustration does a ton of damage thank god at least I was able to roost we're gonna go back to Alo. I don't know what they want to click here they'll be clicking flip turn okay Lop once again comes out I'll just protect and then I'll wish because this thing can't 1v1 on Alo. I don't know if they I don't know if they realize this but Lopni cannot 1v1 on Alo. I think <laughs> like they're just trying everything in the arsenal but it's just not gonna matter it's not gonna matter you cannot beat the score I'm sorry but you cannot ah yeah finally <laughs> finally they realized that it was pointless all right Reggie Lecky Melmetal Victini quite an interesting team let's start the timer and thinking about a lead that really Reggie Lecky definitely looks a prob looks like it is a problem I think I'm gonna lead Terra Packers because it, if it's a lander lead I should be faster than a lander too I think so hell it's a goldengo lead how fast is this thing 295 I'm faster than goldengo I'm dropping a flamethrower okay lander comes out and it took a massive amount of damage no shot that's okay that's not HP that's offensive right yeah it would die if I click it and I feel like I would because right now any move is oh wait I'm faster cool I don't know you were adamant or something maybe but I'll definitely grab that KO they barely have switches for fire type moves this is the only thing that they have I'll keep the keep the Terra shell ability because it's like multi-scale but it's better because the move is not very effective instead of da halving the damage so that's really good and I'm just gonna go Mel metal here I'll keep it because rocks can't be up holy crap it's, that has to be specs damage I'm not looking at magnet damage no shot modest magnet yeah that's specs good to know yeah, we'll just go Tusk here. Rilla boom. Are you really gonna glide? No shot when I have Moltres. I kind of want to just drop this, not gonna lie. Yep, you don't glide. <laughs> you don't glide. There goes your Rilla boom. There goes your Grassy Terrain. Oh no, not Grassy Terrain. I didn't click Ice Spinner. I clicked uh, the Sub-Zero Slammer move. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. A Scarf. Golden Go. I think I, I'll keep this for Reggie Lucky. I guess Melmetal is kind of useless at this point, especially if Grassy Terrain is... Oh wait, yeah, that's perfect. They click this thing. So I can actually spam Earthquake right now. Oh, never mind. I shouldn't have spammed that. Okay, Grassy Terrain is up. Forgot about that. I do have an Alo though that can poison this, even if it's like Z-move or something. I'll just Toxic something. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Protect turn 1, to stall a trick room turn, thunder punch, okay, I think I need great tusk, I'll go metal, I don't think metal's useful anymore, double iron bash, that's fine, let's try to earthquake, they click it again, that's completely fine, I've I can now go U and Willowus Pew. So that would be really good. Melmetal won't do as much damage. Yeah. And I'll just hex, sack you, I guess, chip you down. Yada yada. Now I can go U, wish up, stall, like just stall with this thing. Okay, let's see what you click. 
It's gonna be Terra Blast, so that shouldn't knock me out. I'll just Toxic you. Yeah, that's doing nothing. I can just Bishop. Protect to see what you click. It's trick. I'm just gonna go into my ICMZ Great Tusk. That's gonna fail. We have a free headlong and they just four free, which is great. A trick room team. I uh, definitely don't like it. We'll see how this goes. I'm I'm leading with this. I don't think they lead Hatrine when I have a Mel Metal. Exactly. Exactly why I led with this and I'm gonna Earth Power. You too fam. You too. And this Torkoal is gonna die. Man, Choice Specs, Terra Pegasus is putting in so much work. It's insane. Like, these guys just do not know what to do in front of a, a Choice Spec Terra Pegasus. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I'll go Alo as a mid ground because they get Rick Room and I'll like Toxic or something. Actually, no. I'm not gonna Toxic on Hatrin. Let's just wish. I'll keep protect as in to like uh, stall a trick room turn when needed because right now it's like a stalemate not Cresselia can do anything to me I can do anything to Cresselia aside from toxic but I don't want to poison on a potential hat ring let's just see what they click it could be Luna Downs it could be just like calm mind or something I don't know they could just stay in it's gonna be Rapska I'll just poison this yeah. Oh wait, it has synchronized? I did not know that. Tarkoal comes back in with 50% health. Uh, we'll just wish again, because why not? And we just flipped it out now. Yeah, wish will come up on something, so... Wish will come up, right? Hmm. I guess I'll go Mel Metal. It kind of, like, balls Jirachi, right? And I can just Earthquake. Oh, they stay in. Lovely. That's really good. I'm just gonna Earthquake again. I'm slower than Jirachi. Jirachi goes down. I'm not slower than this thing. So I'll have to do something about it. Fire type move is coming. I guess I'll go Alo. I think Alo is better, right? Alo might be better. And it is poison. Then Moltres. Hmm. It could Solar Beam as well. I think I'll go Moltres. Oh, that works. That definitely works because I can just click Scorching Sands. I think I... I don't know. This could be slower. It's funny. Z move. Inferno Overdrive in Sun doesn't knock me out. Your eruption damage is definitely low now, which is really good. And I will just try to roost. They missed magma, very unfortunate. I'll just get this scorching sands now. And they just broke it. Okay, okay. Honestly, this team worked so well. I am so happy with this team's performance. I think Terra Pegasus with choice packs has been so so good. I mean, we expected Melmetal to be great, like that's why I'm using it. It's an amazing Pokemon. This Pokemon is just uh, a demon when it comes to viability. But Terra Pegasus with choice packs, holy! Like, just the damage was just insane, and the coverage is just beautiful. Flamethrower catching Goldengo's Ice Beam, catching Glandroses and stuff. Terra Starstorm is just a really powerful move, and then Earth Power claiming those Rock and Steel types. Man, this Pokemon surprised me. This Pokemon is really, really awesome. Especially with its ability, like, uh, making moves not very effective and its max health. It, that's, that's really, really good. So yeah, this is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to drop a like. If you want to use this team, you can join my Discord server. Come hang out. If you haven't watched my previous video where I used the Ghost Team Z Dragapult, go check that out. I'll see you all there. Goodbye. <laughs>